Hey guys, it's Monday and well, it might be Tuesday when you're seeing this, but it's been a busy day and we're just gonna make some quick beef and broccoli. It is about 522, so um, I'm gonna marinate my steak for probably like 10 to 15 minutes. It's just thin steak that I cut up and then I have a uh, cup of soy sauce. I'm gonna use some garlic, some uh, chili garlic paste. If you don't have chili garlic paste, you can use sriracha instead. A little bit of lime juice. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of uh, brown sugar and a tablespoon of cornstarch. So I'm just gonna dump it all in here and then I'm gonna marinate my steak. So I'm just gonna do probably about a tablespoon of garlic. And then just not as much of the chili garlic paste because this stuff's hot. I'm gonna probably use probably a teaspoon. And then all of this. This is cornstarch. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of brown sugar. Uh, if your brown sugar is hard, like mine uh, has the hard chunks in it, if those bother you and you wanna get them out before you put it, I'm gonna put a uh, tablespoon, so I'm gonna do three of these. If the chunks bother you and you want it soft, I'm using organic uh, brown sugar, so you can put it in the microwave for 20 seconds, uh, and if it's not, soft enough to put it in for another 20 seconds until it gets soft enough for you. And then we're gonna mix this together and make sure that all of the cornstarch and the sugar just dissolve into it. The reason we use cornstarch uh, is to make it that, to help thicken it up. And then it kind of gives the beef, like a, that glaze that beef and broccoli has on it. pretty much mix up and then we're just gonna put it on our meat. Just gonna make sure that all my pieces are covered and then I'm gonna let mine set because it's already almost 5.30. It doesn't take very long to cook it but I'm gonna only let mine set probably for um, 15 minutes while I go get other stuff done. If you want rice have, with this, now would be a good time to put it in your Instapot and make some rice. Or if you're gonna make noodles to go with it, now would be a good time to start boiling the water. Um, we are steaming our broccoli. Um, I have a big bowl because we like a lot of broccoli in ours. So I have a big, I just have one of the bags from Walmart of the frozen broccoli and I'm going to steam this while my uh, beef is marinating, you just put it in a little steamer basket until it's tender. Guys, I forgot lime juice. So I'm just <laughs> gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice in here. You just need a little bit and then mix it. All right, and we're gonna let it set. All right guys, so time got away from me, so ours actually marinated for uh, 20 minutes. And I have my wok, I have a tablespoon of olive oil in here. And I'm just gonna get my steak in here. I wanna try and sear it the best that you can. And then I'm gonna put uh, the juice in when I put the broccoli in and let that cook for a few minutes to get the glaze and the sauce for the broccoli. So I'm actually gonna do this in a batch, only because I want my beef really seared. And if you put too much meat in your wok at one time, it's just gonna steam it and not sear it. Okay, so my first batch is done. I really wanted more sear, like on that side. I didn't get a very good sear on this side, but it happens. 
I just had too much uh, liquid in with it, but that's okay. So we're taking these out and we're gonna put um, our next uh, batch in. And really, it's, it only takes like two minutes on each side. It doesn't take long to cook the meat. Ah, it's hot. I'm actually going to turn my temperature down a little bit because it's popping me. I have it on medium high. cook it for two minutes on each side and then I'm gonna put um, all the beef together and the sauce and I'll come back when I'm adding the broccoli okay so I put my both batches of my meat um, in my wok and now I'm gonna add the broccoli and I already steamed it so I'm not gonna cook this very much longer I'm just gonna uh, incorporate the beef and the broccoli together maybe for a minute I dropped some broccoli, obviously. My dog, if you hear weird noises, it's my dog. <laughs> Jeez. Walks too big for me to shake. Okay, it's incorporated enough for me and my family. Mm. So, uh, so what was that? Maybe 30 seconds? Like I said, the broccoli was already cooked, the beef was done. We just wanted to um, coat the broccoli in the sauce that was in there. And then I'm gonna to top mine with sesame seeds. And then if you have green onions and some cilantro, and then put some more chili garlic paste on top, it will be excellent. All right guys, enjoy.